Hey everyone, now today we're learning all the chords within the key signature of G major. Okay, now the great thing about this is if you play any of these chords in any order, bung them together, you're gonna write a song. It's that simple. All these songs are gonna sound great, followed one or the other in any order. Now, the key signature of G major has one sharp, it's on the F, so F becomes F sharp, okay? And if you wanna know how we actually got that, then check out this video here that will explain all the sharps and flats. But pressing on, let's just get started. So let's quickly make a G major scale and then we'll go through all of those different chords, okay? So we start off on G, we move up another two frets, okay, we get to A, another two frets B, a semitone, we get to C, another two frets D, another two frets E, another two frets there, we get up to F sharp and a semitone brings us back home to G. So we've gone from one G, an octave higher, up to another G. Now, let's put numbers there, one to eight. From every one of those scale degrees, we can build a chord, okay? So the order of chords is as follows. We've got major, minor, minor, major, major, minor, diminished, and then major again, just starts back again. So we'll do that one more time. So we've got major, G, then we go again, we've got minor, then minor again, major, major, minor, diminished, and then major. That's all there is to it, so let's learn all of the chords. So, the first chord, of course, as you've probably guessed it, is going to be G major. So let's learn G major together, okay? So starting out, it's a great big sounding chord, nice and bright, it's got all of the strings in use, okay? So you want your second finger on the third fret there of the thick E string, okay? That's your G note. Then you jump down and you've got your first finger on the second fret of the A string or the fifth string. Okay, that's your B note. Then another string is open, the fourth string or the D string, that's open. So if you just played those three strings, you've got the one, three, five, the major chord. Okay, but we'll press on the G string or the third string, that's open as well. The second string or the B string, that's open as well, because those are the notes. G, B, and D, and finally, your third finger is stretched out there and it's on the third fret of the first string, or the high E string. That's another G note. That's all there is to it, well done. Let's press on. So chord number two, we're looking at A minor, okay? So we're gonna start this one not on the sixth string, not on the thick string, okay? Because that can sometimes get make the chord a bit mushy, but we're gonna start on the fifth string. So we've got the fifth string open, that's your A note. Next string down, you've got your second finger on the second fret, that's E. Next string down, you've got your third finger tucked down under your second finger on the second fret of the third string, or the G string, okay? It's another A note. Then your first finger is on the second string, or the B string, on the first fret. That's a C note, that's the minor third, that's what gives it the minor sound. Or the sad sound. And finally, that first string, or the high E string, is open. Great. Even if you do know how to play some of these chords, test yourself, do you know how to play all of them? Can you play every chord in the key signature of G major? Let's go through. So now we're getting a little bit more complicated. We're up to maybe chords you haven't played before. We're up to B minor. Okay, so how we're gonna play this is our first finger is on the second fret of the fifth string. That's our B note, okay? Our third finger is jumping down a string down and a fret across onto the fourth fret of the fourth string, okay? Great, so you're getting that so far, right? So that's our F sharp. Then we tuck our pinky in the same fret but a string below. So now we're on the third string and we're on the fourth fret. That's another B note, okay? Now your second finger now is all the way on the third fret on the fifth string. So that's the minor third. So that's all you play. Okay. Now once you can get that minor sound and it sounds nice and clean. Okay. Challenge yourself and flatten or bar your first finger so that your first finger is covering all the remaining strings, okay, on the second fret. So that what that allows you to do is that allows you to play the second fret on the first string or the high E string. That's what we've got so far, but then we add in the last string as well. So that means you can play the chord a little bit easier. about maybe hitting the open string if you weren't barring. Because 
that changes the chord completely, that open E string, doesn't it? Otherwise, well done. So try two different methods, see how you go, okay? So now we're looking at C major. You guys probably already know this chord, but let's jump into it anyway. Lovely, bright and happy chord, yeah? So starting out, we're on the fifth string, okay? First, we're gonna use our third finger on the third fret of the fifth string. That's our C note. Drop down a string, use your second finger on the second fret, that's our E note. That next string down, G string, that's gonna be open. So that's our chord already. One, three, five, major. But we're gonna extend it out and we're gonna use our first finger on the first fret of the B string. That's another C note and we're gonna use the thin string, the E string, that's gonna be open. Now we're gonna jump into D major. We might not have looked at this chord before, so see how you go, okay? So we're gonna jump on and we're gonna be playing the open D string, or the fourth string there, okay, that's gonna be open. Then we're gonna use our first finger there on the second fret of the G string. So we've got our D and our A. Then we're gonna use our third finger on the third fret of the B string. It's another D. Same as the first note, yeah, just an octave higher. Then we're gonna use our second finger stretched in between there on the second fret of the first string. That's our F sharp, so that's our major third. So that's gonna give it the major sound. So you play all those strings. Great, how did you go? Well done. So now we're gonna jump into E minor, the next chord, okay? So we're gonna have the open sixth string. That's our E note. We're gonna jump down and use our second finger Second finger is important to use in this chord because you can change it and make it major easily or you can do other bar chords. So I reckon using your second finger is a good way to go here. So we'll start again, we've got the sixth string open. Second finger on the second fret of the A string. It's your B note, okay? Then you've got the third finger tucked under on the second fret of the fourth string there. Okay, and all the remaining strings you've got open. So you've got E, a string down there, you've got your second fret on the B note, you've got another E, you've got the open string G, you've got the open string G, you've got the open string B, and the open string E. Because as you can see here, one, three, five, the notes are E, G, and B. It's a minor sad chord. Now, so now we're into, as always, the trickier chords, okay? We're into the F sharp diminished, okay? Now this could be a tricky chord to play, so I'm gonna show you a few different ways to play it, okay? But see how you guys go, I reckon you can do it. So, first finger on the second fret of the th thick E string, that's our F sharp note, okay? So the notes in F sharp diminished are F sharp, A, and C. So they're the main notes that we wanna tackle, okay? So now, dropping down a string, use your third finger, okay? on the third fret of the A string, that's our C note. So already we've got that flattened fifth degree, yeah? Okay, great. Now use your pinky and put it on the fourth fret of the string below, okay? That's another F sharp. Okay, and now use your second finger on the second fret of the G string and that's an A note. So it's a pretty ugly sounding chord, isn't it? but it is in that key signature, and maybe you want to use it to, to add that sort of dimension to your songwriting. Who knows, but that's the last chord, okay, in G major. I'm gonna show you another way to play that chord now. So another way you could play that chord, okay, is use your pinky, start with your pinky, this is a bit trickier. Use your pinky on the fourth fret of the D string, that's your F sharp. Stretch and use your second finger on the second fret of the G string, that's your A note. So we've got the minor third there. And then the flattened fifth is your first finger on the first fret of the B string, the C. Just play those three strings. Okay, might be a little bit easier for some or a little bit harder for some, but that's another way you can play it. Well done guys for making it to the end. How many of those chords did you already know? How many chords did you learn? How many are you having trouble with? Comment below and let me know, and if you are having a trouble with any of those chords, just let me know and we'll talk through it. Now, if you do want to learn more chords, or you do want to look at videos that go into greater detail with each specific chord and gets a nice close-up view as well, then go back to my channel and check out the chords playlist. But otherwise, that's it for today, well done. If you do like the effort that I do, please like this video, and if you want to see more, click subscribe to see more. Well done, guys, see you again, bye.